Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we discuss about few important multiple choice questions from the topic Is matter around us pure? Class 9. Let's start the first question. Rusting of an article made up of iron is called Option A, corrosion and it is a physical change as well as chemical change. Option B, dissolution and it is a physical change. Option C, corrosion and it is a chemical change. Option D, dissolution and it is a chemical change. Rusting process is a chemical process. It is a corrosion process. The, the answer is option C corrosion and it is a chemical change. So what do you mean by corrosion? The iron particles forms the brown color substance around it when we kept it in the uh, moisture condition in the presence of water and uh, air. So this process is known as corrosion. So the answer is option C. Second question, tincture of iodine has antiseptic properties. This solution is made by dissolving option A, iodine in potassium iodide, option B, iodine in Vaseline, option C, iodine in water, option D, iodine in alcohol. We might have used tincture when we uh, get hurt, wound, when we apply the wound, is it? So, the tincture is a combination of iodine with alcohol. The answer is option D iodine in alcohol third question mixture can be option A homogeneous option B heterogeneous option C both A and B and option D pure substance mixture is not a pure substance so option D is wrong answer it may be homogeneous or heterogeneous so the answer is option C both homogeneous mixture means the substances mixed thoroughly so that type of mixture is known as homogeneous mixtures for example, a cup of coffee, in that coffee, sugar, we are adding sugar molecules, coffee powder, everything, is it? But it mixed thoroughly. That type of mix, mixture is known as homogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous means we will take as example of cornflakes. When we prepare the cornflakes, what will be there? Uh, we are adding milk, fruits, cornflakes, everything, is it? So we can see different partic particles in that mixture, is it? So that type of mixture is known as heterogeneous mixtures. So it mixture can be both homogeneous as well as heterogeneous. Fourth question, blood and sea water are option A, both are mixtures, option B, both are compounds, option C, blood is a mixture, whereas Sea water is a compound. Option D, blood is a compound and sea water is a mixture. Okay, so you know very well about the components of blood. The blood contains many components such as plasma, platelets, WBC, uh, red blood cells, etc. Is it? Sea water also contains uh, salt substances in it. Is it? So both are mixture substances. So the blood and sea water is an example of which one means mixtures. Fifth question, air is a dash mix, mixture, air is a uh, homogeneous mixture. We cannot find out the different types of air, is it? Even vehicles releases the carbon monoxide. We are, exp uh, we are releasing out through carbon dioxide by respiration process, is it? So, diff, uh, even nitrogen, oxygen, uh, helium, like the different types of gases present in the air but we could not find out which air it is is it so air is a which type of mixture it is a homogeneous mixture so the answer is option d question number six sol and gel are example of solid solid colloid sol is a solid liquid colloid and gel is a liquid solid colloid sol is a solid solid colloid and gel is a solid liquid colloid Option D, sol is a liquid solid colloid and gel is a solid liquid colloid. So the answer is what is that means? Option B, sol is a solid liquid colloid and gel is a liquid solid colloid. Seventh question, which of the following are physical change? Here they given different process. Melting of iron metal, rusting of iron, bending of an iron rod, drawing a wire of iron metal so what do you mean by physical change the changes takes place in in the physical appearance of an object is it for example their shape size color is it so melting of iron it is a physical change or chemical change it is a physical change rusting 
During rusting process, the around the around iron substance, the brown color, new powder formed. So it is not a physical change. Bending of iron, that is a physical change because when we bend the iron, we are changing its shape. Drawing a wire of an iron metal, same like that, we are changing its shape. So the answer is option C, which are the things are correct? Option 1, 3 and 4. Those three options are physical changes. Question number 8. The components of water can be separated by physical methods, chemical methods, both they cannot be separated. You know very well the components of water can be separated by which process? Evaporation process. That means when we evaporate the water, what will happen? Water is converted into gas material is it so burning process is a chemical method even by electrolysis method also we can split the components of water so the components of water can be separated by chemical method question number nine which of the following methods would, would you see used to separate cream from milk fractional distillation distillation centrifugation and filtration okay so the answer is option c centrifugation process when we squeeze when we squeeze the substances what will happen means uh, we can separate the cream from the milk the milk separate the cream at the bottom of the um, test tube or cortical flask and milk settled separately okay so this process is known as centrifugation process so we are separating the cream from the milk by the process of centrifugation question number 10 cooking of food and digestion of food both are physical process both are chemical process cooking is a physical whereas digestion is chemical cooking is a chemical process whereas digestion is a physical process what is chemical process the substance totally converted into new substance is it so cooking when we are adding different substances and we are getting a new substance after cooking is it for example even digestion process also is it so both are what is that means both are chemical process even cooking as well as digestion both are chemical process ninth question mercury and bromine are both liquid at room temperature solid at room temperature gases at room temperature both a and b okay you might have seen the mercury even in the clinical thermometer the mercury is moving is it so when we check our body temperature you might have seen the movement of the mercury so what is what is the state of that mercury liquid yes or no so the answer is option a liquid at room temperature so mercury and bromine both are liquid at room temperature question number 12 mixture of two or more metals or metals and non-metals are called as option a alloys option b solution option c mixture option d metallic mixtures okay so mixture of two metals or metal and non-metal that type of mixture is known as alloy Question number 13, alloy cannot be separated by dash method, chemical method, evaporation method, extraction method, physical method. Alloy is a chemical substance, metal and metal, combination of metal, metal or combination of metal and non-metal, is it? So surely it, it cannot be separated by physical method. So the answer is option D. Question number 14, brass is a mixture of dash and dash. Option A, zinc and carbon. Option B, zinc and magnesium. Option C, zinc and cobalt. And option D, zinc and copper. The correct answer is, it is a combination of zinc and copper. 15th question, component present in large amount in solution called option A, solute. Option B, sugar. Option C, solvent. Option D, mixture. The correct answer is option C, solvent. If we prepare a solution, we are taking the solvent in the large amount and the solute particles will be less amount. So, the large component present in the solution is solvent. 16th question. The component of solution that dissolved in solvent is called option A, solute, option B, sugar, option C, solvent, option D, mixture. The answer is option A, solute. 
in the solution the solute can be dissolved in the solvent question number 17 if the solute particle size is smaller than dash then it cannot seen by naked eyes option a 1 meter option b 1 centimeter option c 1 millimeter and option d 1 nanometer the correct answer is option d 1 nanometer so the solid particle is 1 nanometer then we cannot see the uh, particles in the solution for example um, sugar or salt when we add the sugar or salt in the water we cannot see the salt or sugar substance is it so why because means it is its size is less than 1 nanometer question number 18 when no more solute can be dissolved in solution at given temperature is called dash solution option a homogeneous solution option b heterogeneous solution option c saturated solution and option d unsaturated solution so the correct answer is option c saturated solution why because um, the substance the solvent can dissolve particular amount of solute only for example if you take 100 ml of water in that a spoonful of salt if you are adding means it can dissolve but you are adding one teaspoonful of salt with 100 ml of water means it does it does not dissolve is it so that type of solution is known as which one saturated solution Question number 19, the amount of the solute present in the saturated solution at this temperature is called its option A, unsaturation, option B, diffusion, option C, collusion and option D, solubility. The answer is option D, solubility. The substance can dissolve in the particular solvent. So that solute particle is known as what is that? Solubility. Question number 20, mass of solute divided by mass of solution multiply by 100 then we get what we get option A solution, option B mass, option C mass percentage of solution, option D volume percentage. Here mass given and we multiply into 100 so we are getting the percentage is it. So the correct answer is option C mass percentage of solution. Question number 21, solids are dispersed in liquids called diffusion, dissolution, collusion, suspension. So the correct answer is option D, suspension. Solids are dispersed in the liquids. That process is known as what is that? Suspension. 22, suspension is a dashed type of mixture. Option A, saturated. Option B, unsaturated. Option C, homogeneous. And option D, heterogeneous. So, the correct answer is option D, heterogeneous mixture. Question number 23, mixture of water and milk shows the dash effect. Option A, solubility. Option B, diffusion. Option C, Tyndall. And option D, brightening. The answer is option C, Tyndall effect. So what do you mean by Tyndall effect means when we pass the light rays through the solution or any substances, it disperses the light. If you observe the diagram, first diagram shows the solution. So when we pass the light rays in the solution, it does not disperse the light. But a mixture of water and milk, it disperses the light rays. Why? Because the component of the particles will be large in size. In the solution, the size of the solute will be less. So, it does not disperse the light. But in the mixture, the uh, solute particle size is more. So, it disperses the light. So, which effect means? That is Tyndall effect. Question number 24. Colloid is the DAS mixture. It is saturated, unsaturated, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. So, colloid is a heterogeneous mixture. Sure. Question number 25. Dash particles are scattered a beam of light passing through it and make it path visible. Solute, solvent, colloidal, none of these, none of the above. The correct answer is option C, colloid. So colloidal substance only disperse the light. That means it scattered the beam of light. Question number 26, foam is the example of option A, scattering of light, option B, 
colloids option c saturated solution option d unsaturated solution the correct option is option b colloids so foam is an example of colloids why because means uh, that soap powder does not dissolve properly in the water molecules so it produces the foam substance question number 27 we can separate the volatile component from the from its non volatile solute by the method of option a extraction option b separation option c filtration and option d evaporation so the answer is option d evaporation so what do you mean by volatile component means easily evaporated substance so the easily evaporated substances are known as volatile substance so that component is easily separated by which method means evaporation method question number 28 two immiscible layers can separate out in layer depending on their option a volume option b surface tension option c density and option d viscosity so the answer is option c density so based on the density of the substance we can separate the layer of two immiscible substance question number 29 which liquids used for medical purposes are considered as a sol option a milk of magnesia option b surgical spirit option c hand sanitizer and option d detol the correct answer is option a milk of magnesia so milk of magnesia is the example of sol in a medical shop i found four bottles labeled as given in the options which bottle is considered to be a heterogeneous mixture in which the particles are not visible to the net eye option a noxophil oral suspension option b hydrogen peroxide option c aristoxyzine digestive syrup and option d tincture of iodine the correct answer is option c aristoxyzine digestive syrup Question number thirty-one. Lemonade is a prepared by a kid at home. Which component of the lemonade should be a pure substance? Option A, water. Option B, sugar. Option C, salt. Option D, lemon extract. The pure substance is option B, sugar. Thirty-two. Which of the following substances undergoes change in state when ta taken from a cold place less than Two seventy-three Kelvin to a place where the average room temperature is forty degrees Celsius. Options: sulfur, water vapor, mercury, gallium. The correct answer is option D, gallium. So the gallium, when we keep in our palm, it starts to melt. Question number thirty-three: Which of the following substances, on sufficient cooling? produces a solid which undergoes sublimation under normal conditions option a water vapor option b ammonia option c carbon dioxide option d chlorine the correct answer is option c carbon dioxide so um, when we cool the carbon dioxide it produces the solid and it goes to undergoes to sublimation process Question number thirty-four: Which of the following is not the common property of smoke and fog? Option A: Physical state of disappeared fast. Option B: Physical state of dispersion medium. Option C: Smoke is an aerosol. Option D: Smoke is a heterogeneous mixture. The answer is option A: Physical state of dispersed fast. Question number thirty-five: Non-uniform compositions of solutions called dash solution. Mixture, texture, homogeneous solution, heterogeneous solution. The solution is heterogeneous solution. It is a non-uniform composition. The substance has non-uniform compositions. Question number thirty-six: Homogeneous solution may separated by chemical process, physical process, filtration. physical process of evaporation the correct answer is option a chemical process homogeneous solution is separated by chemical process question number 37 uniform composition of solutions called mixture texture homogeneous heterogeneous it is a homogeneous solution so a uniform composition of solution is known as homogeneous solution question number 38 the elemental gas present in acid rain 
ऑप्शन ए सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड ऑप्शन बी कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड ऑप्शन सी नाइट्रोजन ऑप्शन डी ऑक्सीजन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज प्रेजेंट इन द एसिड रेन वाई बिकॉज मीन्स सल्फर कैन डिजोल्व इन वाटर सल्फर कैन डिजोल्व इन वाटर एंड इट फॉर्म सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड so it is called as acid rain question number 39 the constituent of which substances can be separated only by chemical means option a brine solution option b alumina option c milk option d gold amalgam the correct answer is option b alumina next question question number 40 if we burn graphite option a residue will be left option b no residue will be left option c it will not burn option d it will change into diamond the correct answer is option b no residue will be left 41 diamond is lustrous because it is colorless it is hard it is pure its refractive index is high the correct answer is option d refractive index index is high that's only it is lustrous 42 in sugar solution option a sugar is solute water is solvent option b sugar is solvent water is solute option c both are solutes option d both are solvents the answer is sugar is solute water is solvent anemometer measures option a amount of hemoglobin in blood option b poly pollination of plant by the wind option c wind resistance option d wind speed the correct answer is option d wind speed wind speed is measured by anemometer next question thermometer is an instrument that measures temperature of substance heat of substance radiation of substance flow energy in a substance thermometer is used to measure temperature of a substance 45 barometer measures option a pressure option b atmospheric pressure option c wind velocity option d gaseous pressure barometer helps to measure atmospheric pressure so the answer is option b next question dash method is used to purify solids distillation sublimation fractional distillation crystallization the answer is option d crystallization next question nanometer is an option a instrument used for measuring micro distance option b instrument used for measuring macro distance option c unit for measuring micro distance option d unit for measuring macro distance the correct answer is it is a unit for measuring micro distance next question brass is a solution of molten copper in solid zinc molten zinc gaseous zinc molten tin the correct answer is option b molten zinc two or more atoms combine together forming element molecule or atoms none of the above the answer is option b molecule so two or many atoms combine together to form molecules chemical change shown in reaction called physical reaction chemical reaction saturated substitution reaction the answer is option b chemical reaction crystal alum separated from impure samples by dash method distillation sublimation fractional distillation crystallization the correct answer is option d crystallization dash method used for separation of petroleum products option a distillation option b sublimation option c suspension option d fractional distillation the correct answer is option d fractional distillation this method used to Uh, used for separate uh, separate the petroleum products such as kerosene petrol diesel etc next question chromatographic method used to separate colors in dye drugs from blood tea powder from factory drugs from blood the correct answer is tea powder from factory 
two miscible liquids having boiling point less than 25 k it can be separated by distillation sublimation suspension fractional distillation the correct answer is option d fractional distillation next question chroma means option a dyes option b colors option c paints option d natural colors the correct answer is it is colors chroma means colors dash is a mixture of two or more colors alloy dyes ink paints the correct answer is dyes dyes are the mixture of two or many colors separation of dyes and black ink using dash method dissolution method chromatographic method sublimation method and sub suspension method the correct answer is chromatographic method so the color mm, the dyes of black ink is separated by chromatographic method crystallization method is used to purify liquids gas solids miscible liquids the correct answer is option c solids separation of camphor and salt done by dash method dissolution collusion sublimation suspension the correct answer is option c sublimation last question an example of liquid metal and liquid non metal is gallium mercury mercury chlorine mercury bromine bromine sulfur the correct answer is option c mercury bromine both are liquid metals liquid metal and liquid non metal mercury is a metal and bromine is a non metal so if you like this video subscribe my channel thank you